past few weeks have seen violence erupt once again between Israel and Palestine, and the high tensions engendered by the conflict have caused a large degree of polarization amongst both communities. Many now simply view the conflict as being between Arab and Jew. However, I went along to an exhibit on Palestinian art depicting the occupation to meet one woman who certainly doesn't fit into that narrow stereotype. Suzanne Weiss is a 62-year-old Jewish survivor of the Holocaust who now lives in Canada. Firmly opposed to injustice of any kind after having experienced firsthand the horrors of the Nazi occupation, she's a leading member of the organization Not In Our Name, dedicated to voicing Jewish opposition to Zionism. She's a strident supporter of the Palestinian cause and has attracted controversy for comparing the situation in Gaza to the infamous Warsaw Ghetto. So what are your memories of the Holocaust? Well, when I was two years old, uh, my mother was taken away from me and sent to a concentration camp. And that, she died in Auschwitz. And <clears throat> I was put uh, with the underground movement and I was hidden in a uh, farming village in Auvergne. And when the war ended, I was told that my mother could not come home and she had died. And I was also told that my father had suffered a mortal wound due to a bombing of his prisoner camp in Germany. From that point, I felt very alone, very lost. And I had no one else. I had no other family. And what similarities do you see between the Warsaw Ghetto and what's happening in Palestine at the moment? The methods of, the, of Hitler are very much, in my opinion, in evidence in, those, uh, in the Gaza Ghetto. There's a big wall that en 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 envelops the Gaza Ghetto. This is very similar to uh, the, uh, what happened to the uh, Jews. We had, first of all, 440,000 Jews in the Warsaw Ghetto. In the Gaza Ghetto, there's one and a half million people were dying of starvation. And there was no medical access. It's the same thing in the Gaza Ghetto. They can't get out of the checkpoints, as in the Warsaw Ghetto. And Jews were humiliated, forced to undress at checkpoints. The same thing as the Gaza Ghetto. They are humiliated, forced to crawl undress. They killed people indiscriminately. And that's the same thing that's happening with the Gaza Ghetto. Children, many, many children are just killed, you know, indiscriminately. If they throw a rock, they're shot. When did you first become involved in the Israel-Palestine conflict? The question was for me, would a country just for the Jews actually stop anti-Semitism? And I thought about it, and I thought to myself, well, how would they be able to stop anti-Semitism if they stole the land, if they took the land from other people? Do you worry that some Palestinian supporters might conflate the term Jew with Zion? And so what's essentially a political problem turns into a racial or religious one. Zionism is a political ideology. And... The fact is, is the Palestinians have nothing against the Jews. They have something against Zionism. And the whole world should have something against Zionism. Now, I belong to an organization called Not In Our Name. But we don't want Zionist policies to be done in the, peop in, in, in the name of Jewish people. We need to have the Jews defend the Palestinians because of what happened to the Jews themselves. There are two kinds of Jews that came out of 
the Holocaust. One who said, never again for the Jews. And the other who said, never again for humankind. Many people blame the Palestinians for the violence. And some would even cite this as a major difference between the situation with the Jews in Germany and Poland and between what's going on in Palestine. How would you respond to this? Are we going to blame the Jews for fighting back in Warsaw? We had the Warsaw Uprising. Young people who were fighting with stones, with anything they could against, uh, you know, the, the attackers. In Palestine, they, they have a right to defend themselves. So what are your hopes for the future? My hopes is that the Palestinians are victorious. The Holocaust must not rest as a memory exclusively for Jewish people. It must be an impulse to the struggle against racism and violence against the persecuted throughout the world, including and especially Palestine. May the spirit of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising triumph in Gaza. <laughs>